guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I got this blue and orange look. I actually asked my Instagram followers to give me suggestions for another look, and I got a lot of great suggestions. One of the more unique ones I got was to do a blue and orange look. These aren't colors that I would usually work with together, so I took it on as a challenge. So this is the finished look that I came up with, and I will be showing you guys how I got this look. So let's get right into it. So I have already mostly prepped my skin. I've cleansed, I've moisturized. Um, I'm just going to spray my face right now with some Make It Last setting and prepping spray from Milani. I'm just gonna put my hair up really quick before I do that so it gets out of the way. I'm also going to be using the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm so that I can moisturize my skin again. I want a really dewy base for today's look, so I'm going to continue prepping with that moisturizer. So to prime, I'm going to use the Kismet Pure Vitamin C Primer. My first impressions of this primer, if you guys remember from my Ipsy Glam Bag review, I really didn't like it that much because I thought my makeup was getting kind of splotchy from it. But after using it a bit more and also using more when I use it, I feel like it's actually a pretty decent primer. So next I'm going to go ahead and move on to my eyes and then come back to my face later. I do have a little cut on my eyebrow, so please excuse that. I am just priming now with the NYX primer. This is the NYX eyeshadow base. I'm blending it out with my finger and just getting it everywhere right now. So now that my eyes are all primed, I'm going to be moving on and going into my color. Like I said, today's colors will be blue and orange, so I'm going to go ahead and start with that. I'm going to start with the BH Ultimate Matte 42 Color Eyeshadow Palette. It comes with so many colors. Oh, I literally just put my finger into that shade right here, but you know what? I think I might need that shade today anyway, so. As you can see, I didn't set my eye primer. I kind of want to try something new today to see if the shadow is going to stick a little bit better if I don't set my eyes and kind of use the eyeshadow as the setter, I guess. So I'm going to start out with a cute little orange shade, this one that's right under the one I dipped my finger into earlier. It's going to start by putting that all over my crease. I know I've already popped some color onto my lid, but I am actually going to be putting some tape underneath. Okay, so hopefully that's good. So I'm just gonna continue blending that. So the next shade I'm going to be going in with is this darker orange. I'm focusing that on my outer crease and bringing it in towards the middle of my eyelid. I think so far, it's been a good idea to not set my eyes before I put eyeshadow on. I think the eyeshadow is just sticking a lot better. I'm avoiding the inner corner because I'm going to be cutting the crease. I'm doing a half cut crease today and I'm going to be adding the blue into there. So the last orangey shade that I'm going to bring in is the one that I accidentally touched at the very beginning. I'm keeping it more towards the outer edge than anything. I don't want to really blend it up because I do want a nice blend. I want the orange to get lighter as it goes up. So I'm going to keep it really towards my lash line. So to tie the orange together, I'm going to go in with this light yellow right here. I'm taking a really small brush and blending the part closest to my eyebrows with that yellow. I'm going to go ahead and put the palette away really quick and go ahead and go in with some concealer so that I can do a half cut crease. If you don't know, it's literally what it sounds like. It's half of a cut crease, so it kind of stops towards the center of your eye. I'm going to go in with my 16 hour camo concealer from e.l.f. in the shade medium beige. I'm going to start in my inner corner and bring it towards the center of my eyelid. So that's as far in as I'm going to bring it. Now taking the brush that I use to do the blend of my oranges, I'm going to bring it in towards the edge of that cut crease to make sure there's not such a harsh line. As you can see, it's a nice blend now. There's not a straight line like it really was before. So before that dries, I'm gonna quickly go in with a blue. I think I wanna use this blue color right here and pack that on to the concealer and see how it looks. Now that I've popped the blue in, there's definitely a line between the blue and the orange. To blend those two into each other, I'm going to take that brown shade right there. 
I've really just been debating the last couple of minutes whether I should do a chunky blue glitter or a gold fine glitter. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to use the lighter gold. I'm going to put it where the cut crease sort of ends, I guess. I might do something different when my hand is on my eye, so I don't know, we're just gonna go with it. So I need the tiniest little brush for this, and I'm going to be using this face and glitter glue from PS. I've actually not used this brand of glitter or face glue yet, so I'm excited to see how it works on my eyes. Okay, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but I just drew a line above my cut crease. And now I'm just gonna place the glitter on. So much glitter fall out already and I have not even put it on my eye yet. It is sticking on pretty well. It's giving me a nice little accent. Little sneak peek at this nice crisp line I'm gonna get at the end. I'm excited. I'm just gonna stop myself there so I don't go too crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and take my tape off. Ooh! Okay, this is fancy. I have plenty of fallout on my under eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my foundation. I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation in the shade Sable. Oh! Oh my gosh, they just got everywhere! Starting at the center of my face, as always. I'm also going to go in with a lighter shade. This is the one in the shade Sandstone to give myself that perfect match. I'm going to be using a Real Technique sponge to blend out my makeup. So foundation is on. Before I move on to concealer and everything else, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and lashes off camera. You guys already know that routine for me. Lashes and brows are now done. I'm really happy with how everything is looking so far. So moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using that same e.l.f. concealer that I used to cut my crease with, like always. I love how snatched concealer can make you look. Oh, please don't come for my brows. Like, who has even brows these days? Bringing it down as usual. I'm also going to be doing a cream contour today with the Max and More Duo contour stick. And this one is in the shade Dark Tan. I think other than these areas, I'll just bronze. So before I move into powders, I'm going to give myself a nice little spritz again. Mm. So the next step for me is a cute little light bake. I'm using the NYX Mineral Set It and Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder in the shade Light to Medium. And I'm not even going to wait. I'm just going to quickly brush it off right after. So to start bronzing my face, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Wet Shady Beaches. So next, I'm going to be using the Kaleido Cosmetics Blush in the shade Prima Donna. This is a more shiny blush than I would usually use, but I think it's going to go super cute with today's look. So the last face product I'm going to be using is the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in the shade Soho. So we are pretty much almost to the end here. I just have to do the under eyes and the lips and we'll be all finished. So I'm going to be going in with that dark orange color that we used in the actual eye look. And I'm going to be putting that underneath my eye. Using the Warrior palette by Juvia's, I'm going to be using the shade Bakwa for an inner corner highlight. I'm also just using a navy blue eye pencil for my waterline. And lastly, the mascara I'm going to be using for my bottom lashes is the Great Lash by Maybelline. So moving on to the lips, the three products I'll be using is the Sephora Lip Gloss in the shade Bronze Bow, the Kylie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dolce K, and the Bare Minerals Lip Liner in the shade Gen Nude. So that concludes today's look. This is how the finished product looks. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye!